In this video, we're going to talk about course management. The course management control panel is only available to faculty. The students do not see this control panel. So on the left hand side, obviously on the top part of the section, you have the menu that is viewable to you and the students. On the bottom half, you have your um, collection of tools that you can use for your course management. Underneath your course management, you have an option to view um, different areas that let you control the looks, the tools that are used, how you evaluate your students, the Grade Center, um, all different tools that you'll use within Blackboard. So within the um, control panel, the first thing that you'll see in there is the content collection. The content collection is the area of the course that holds files that you upload and um, content that you use within your course. Now the content collection is basically your file storage area okay, within the course. Now course tools, this is an area where you can go in and add a test unit, add an announcement control and add your blogs, your wikis. So there's all different parts in here, the course calendar, course messages, things like that. So there's a lot of different parts of this. In this area, you'll also find um, information on some third-party tools like McGraw, Pearson, things like that. You'll also see in here an area for rubrics. Um, you can set up safe assignments, um, self and peer assignments, um, send email, tasks, test surveys and pools, and wikis. So this is all the tools associated with the Blackboard course. Alright, so um, I know in, in a previous video I had in there where you could go in and add a test student to your course. Okay, This is where you're also going to create tests and then you deploy them in the course where you want them to be seen. So if you have a test that you make, you'll have to go into the course and actually show it to students so students can see the test to take it. Okay, Now, um, also in this area you have your evaluation area. This is where you're going to find your course reports. So if you want to go in and see where students have been active in your course, how many hits you have on a certain folder, um, a certain assignment, uh, if you want to check their activities, things like that. Um, the performance dashboard is where you would go in and see how students are doing in that particular course. You know, how, when was the last time they accessed, some of their, how many discussion boards they actually participated in or posted to, things like that. The Retention Center is also another big area that you're going to want to get into and the Retention Center um, gives you information and it breaks down um, you know, how many discussion posts a student has participated in. Um, you can do searches in here and find out um, whether a student has posted to a discussion, whether they have uh, an assignment that was passed due, things like that. The Retention Center also gives you the ability to go in and uh, send out emails to students or groups of students and um, let them know that they are lacking, maybe they're falling behind in the course, maybe they're failing the course, just to set up reminders. Um, it's also an area that if you send out an email, it stays, um, you, you have the document in the course to let you know that it was sent out to stu certain students, things like that. And then SCORM reports, um, which depending on what you're working on, whether it's a uh, SCORM exercise that you have them do, like a soft chalk lesson or something like that, and you want to see um, how they did on the lesson, then you would get um, into that through the evaluation. All right. Now another big area that you're going to get into is the Grade Center and this is something that you're also going to be looking at in Workshop 3 through the SLN workshops and this is an area where you're going to go in and grade assignments. You're going to view the tests that they have taken. Um, if you um, view the full Grade Center you can also see when the last um, activity day is, when they last access the course. Um, everything that's going to be graded is going to be graded through the um, Grade Center. Okay. You also have an area called Users and Groups and in Users and Groups you have the ability to go in and um, you can take a look at all the users in the course and see who is active, who is not active. If it says no one here it means the person's been dropped from the course. Okay. Um, you can also come in here and create groups 
and um, there's a whole section in Blackboard of working with groups for groups discussions. Um, they basically have replaced teams that you had in, um, in um, Angel. Okay, so that's another thing you might want to look at. Customization is another area where you can um, go in and take a look at um, the actual cosmetics of the course. If you want to go into, let's say, teaching style, you can go in and decide um, how you actually want the course to look, whether you want um, different color pages, where you want the students to enter the course, um, what you want to pop up as soon as they start the course. Um, you can also change the looks of the menus. You can have buttons instead of text. You can change the colors of it. Uh, you can also attach a banner to go an image to go across the top of your um, your course across here. Okay, so there's all different things that you can do within the um, customization. All right. Now, um, just remember that certain things in here, you've got to make sure that you um, don't turn your course off. You, um, some of these properties will be restricted. You won't have availability um, to this area, so you know, kind of keep that in mind. But the big area you probably will get into in here is teaching style. All right. Um, another area that you will be going in every semester is the package and utilities. And the package and utilities, um, you should not have a bulk delete option. Um, you what you're going to be doing in here is exporting your courses and importing courses so this is where you're going to go in and take content from um, a previous semester and you're going to export it and then you're going to import it in here and this is another set of videos that I will provide you with okay um, and then there's blackboard help where you can actually go in and um, there's links here to the blackboard on demand um, contact help support um, and uh, look at videos that are provided through uh, through Blackboard. It will take you to the Blackboard On Demand. It's a great um, resource to go in and get questions and search for different things in Blackboard. Okay, so this is all part of your um, course management um, section of your course.